Spino just went diving to fish. That is probably going to be an enemy of mine, so what I'm going to do is take them out first. So I'm going to cut them off from where I know they want to go, which is the mainland. I'm going to get in between them and the mainland. And now I'm making a beeline straight for them. And it looks like they do see me. They're very conscious of me. This person is afraid of me. They don't want to engage me. So he's swimming away. Oh no, he's swimming towards me. Oh no, he's swimming away. Yeah, they've been watching me this whole time. They're definitely aware of me. This person wants some revenge. I'm going to give him an opportunity. See, the thing is, he bit way too early. Now I have better position. He's sitting still for me. He's literally not moving. Oh, now he's moving. Oh, got me. Good. Very good. I hold the advantage still. And now I'm going to get the bite. Oh, I missed. So you cannot panic. You have to continue to do what it is you know is going to get you to victory even if you make a mistake because it's easier to it's easier to get into position that will mess you up than it is to get into position that you want to be in to win the fight you have to be conscious of of that so what you got to do is not be ira you have to not panic when you panic you do the thing that's easier which is get in a position to be messed up when you don't panic, you have less of a chance of getting into a bad uh, position and you keep your chances higher of being in the position that is probably going to win you the fight. So that's why, okay, he's not moving, so I'm not going to move. I don't need to move if I'm in a good position and he's not. I have to let him make the move. Once he decided to make a move, things actually got better for him. Because I actually wasn't in a great position. I just sat there because I wasn't in a great position to, if he decided to move, defend against him or outmaneuver him. I just happened to be in a good position to bite him and he wasn't biting me. So I just sat there in that bad position because it was good for me for a time. But I knew it was going to get bad if he started to move. But I didn't lead him out of that bad position, which is worse for him. I let him stay in it. I let him stay in it as long as he wanted to sit there. Um, and then he figured out, oh, probably should move out of here. And it got better for him. Um, and even though he started to get a bite and I already have damage, uh, I didn't let that make me do something that was not in the plan. Because I figured, okay, I, I can take a bite. It's not going to kill me. And I'm going to get my bite eventually. So don't panic. Never, ever panic. Have a game plan. Try to stick to it as best you can. Don't be afraid to die because that's just part of the game. And what will happen is you will learn. The only way that you're not going to learn is if you're afraid to, if you're afraid to die. You'll never engage. Uh, you, won't, you won't get into fights over and over and get the data that you need to learn. So just don't have any fear and just, you know... This, this weirdness that these some of these players are doing where they ask each other to fish for them and stuff, that that's part of the reason that people are not good at combat is that they just don't engage in the game f for the combat, and it's designed for that. They choose not to engage in combat, so when somebody forces them into that situation, they don't know what to do. They don't have any skills. So that's the thing.
embrace the combat.